Rat, way before most of you fruit bats had ever heard the remake of that song that's going on, I don't know, about the past year ago. <laughs> I'm coming to you because I want to talk about shaking out of your normal routine. Here it is, 7.30 at night, and where was I? At the fabulous Aldi, because I have decided to just have mangoes for dinner because I want them, and... 39 cents over there and I have a bag full and I'm just fixing to fill up on the mangoes. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you about this. Getting out of your regular routine. I normally do not go to the grocery store at this time of night. There's lots of things I usually don't do. I'm a, I'm a semi-regimented person, but I've noticed that the very things that can keep, my, keep me in order and calm can also sort of bog me down. There's a fine line, you know? So I'm t I want to talk about replacing the things you normally do with different things, just like you're trying to replace the food, changing things up for a new lifestyle, for the better version of yourself, you know? I have found that a lot of times the biggest problem with people wanting to go back to their sad food or whatever they were eating before or going back into their what they would consider negative patterns is when it's the thing that they're normally comfortable with if normally after work they sit down and I don't know a lot of people drink that I know and this is a big downfall for them because it leads to poor food choices as if you aren't already acidifying your body with the alcohol. I've, I've seen a lot of comments and things um, on the YouTube about alcohol and people really want to tell you sure go ahead and do it that's great for you but we all know that's a lie I just don't really waste my time doing that you know. Um, old habits and it, you'll find it most uncomfortable when you're not able to satisfy yourself and sort of pacify yourself in those times with your same ritual you know um, I cannot believe the Sun is out it's been raining here for like seven days hallelujah <laughs> but you know um, not only replacing your old food but your old norm shaking yourself, rattling your cage so that it can rattle you into consciousness. You know what I mean? Because the subconscious drives us around, you know? The 95% of the pre-programmed ways that frankly we are that are not serving us anymore. So whatever can rattle you out of that is for the benefit, I think, um, when it's a healthy thing. Detoxifying your body, not just your body, but also your mind, your routine, your um, your clutter, your home, your zone, you know. It could even be just, maybe you're a young college girl and, and it's just, or maybe you're, I don't know, a dude who lives with 12 other guys and it's just where you're staying. Whatever, it's it's the place that you store your things. You know, it's where you reside. Um, let's see, what else I want to tell you about that? Detoxifying your body and decluttering. Letting go of the stuff and the things that no longer serve you, you know? The ideas and programs that no longer serve you to get you where you want to be. I mean, think of all the mental things that bog you down, that keep you going back to the same place, the same area where you're not free to become the new you, you know? We keep on watching people on TV that are not doing what we want to do. We keep on listening to negative things on the radio, on the evening news, whatever. I do not rarely turn on the TV. I mean... Probably in the last, I don't know how long I've lived there, five months, I think. I think we've had the TV on two times for 30 minutes. Um,
getting your mind off just food, you know. You can use this time to declutter, to go through your things, have a minim minimalistic approach with your eating and your thoughts. Enables your brain to free up space to plug in the new ideas of the new you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what's your list that you could declutter, you know? Detoxifying your body, which you're on the way to, your home, your mind, your spirit, your car. <laughs> you know, you see so many people, instead of it not sitting around thinking, well, dang, I can't be eating the, the Cheetos like my teenage son eats. It's not hurting him. And uh, I can't have those. And I want, I want a Pepsi Cola with peanuts in there, whatever you eat. Instead of that, get up off our duffs, you know, and go outside and maybe vacuum out the car, wash the car, blow the garage, take a walk, play with your dogs, you know? Have a sprinting race in the backyard with your 16-year-old just so he can laugh at you because he's faster than you. <laughs> I do that sometimes. You know, freeing your mind. Only having things we need, would this not be freeing? What if you only had things in your space that you needed? that you absolutely needed along with the things in your body is that not so the key if you could only put things in your body that are what you needed how pristine would your health be well how pristine will your environment be and your mental state even people that think they're just pack rats or could benefit from this you know Maybe somebody else's total declutter would look like chaos to me, but for them, it would be a, a really a cleansing effect. So it depends on where you're coming from. You know, a lot of times clutter can keep us from being free. Like if there's things sitting around, it keeps me from having a creative expression going on. It keeps me from being a fluid vessel of love and light because I have this sort of beep, beep, beep thing coming at me. You know, clearing that off, when that happens to me, I notice I don't even want to light candles or I don't even want to. I don't feel like I can relax and enjoy that because I've got this thing going on. Maybe you don't even realize you're like that. Do you think that could be a part of what's keeping you um, in your old patterns and unable to change? I mean, when we have less to manage, we free up our mind. We free up our time. How easy is it to clean off your bathroom counter when there's nothing on it? How about your bathtub? How much easier is it to clean your bathtub if all you only have your shampoo, your conditioner, whatever, minimal, the minimalistic approach, and it's in a little basket hanging that you can just lift out clean under. It's not all the stuff falling, all the extra, you know? I mean, when you clean out and detoxify your body and your space, you know what? There's nowhere for things to hide. What about when you detoxify your your emotional state? When you detoxify and break down your diet to what I eat, you know what? There's nothing left. There's nothing left to... There's nowhere left to hide. If I was to go out and... Let's just say, for example, I had a big old plate of macaroni and cheese. You know what? There would be nowhere for... For me to hide I would absolutely feel the effects of that you know what I mean it's just like now that I have and very streamlined and, and I'm going to continue to do that and be more streamlined with my home and my my heart and my mind there's nowhere for things to hide so when things come up at you you can really pinpoint that snag it and put it in its place you know what I'm saying we're at the park because this is not my normal routine to come to this park in this time of the evening but it's right here and why not I have five minutes look how pretty it is and there is not one person out here therefore I will be able to go over there and enjoy the swings without having to share them with any small children <laughs> 
so I can go as high as I want and I won't have to worry about my feet hitting anybody's head. Just letting go of the old stuff is the point of this talk. I hear a lot of people, especially when I'm working with people one-on-one, -on -one, that really could benefit from this. I could benefit from it more and more. You know, things that keep you going back. I think the first step is to write it down. Write it down so that you can break it down and you can get to, I don't know, let's just say it's in on my screen porch and there's this grouping of wires that kind of drape very tacky like across the wall. Every time I go out there, I'm not able to just relax and hear the birds or the crickets or whatever. I see that. I try to ignore it and I look away because everything doesn't have to be perfect. But at some point, I want to fix that. Therefore, I'm going to put it on a list and I'm going to know I'm going to set it on this burner right here. And when I have this allotted amount of time, I'm going to open up my notebook and I'm going to see, yes, I have the time to do that right now. They just kind of need to be restrung and things. I have an hour to work on that right now and then guess what? I can cross it off. It's very freeing. You know, clearing out your, your pantry, clearing out your cabinets, your silverware drawer, Putting just like the bowls and spoons that you want to eat with your raw living food out on the counter to remind you of the purity that you want in your lifestyle. I know it's corny. I like to use certain utensils and certain bowls and they make me happy and they make me feel it adds to the purity of the food I eat and I like that so I do it. What are those things you could do? And by clearing off the other crap that you don't need, you could put those things there for yourself. And why? Just for you. To free your mind, you know. I mean, only have things there that you need to deal with. A lot of things, you know, for a long time, when my kids first got into their teenage years, I remember specifically I was at the beauty shop one day, we don't even go there anymore, but my daughter was there, and she was talking to the beautician about this nose ring, she, she has a nose ring now, but this nose ring somebody had like right like this, and it kind of had this thing strung, and she was about 13, that stressed me out so bad, because I was thinking, well, you're going to get that, how do you even know that's like the look you want, I mean, my mind went off on this tangent, and I see a lot of people that looks very beautiful on, and um, the point is this, that never manifested itself, you know? What kind of things do we deal with that we don't have to deal with? We can just keep it simple. Furthermore, what if she did that? Guess what? The world didn't end. You know, I posted a, a flip -a on Instagram earlier. I don't know if you saw this, but it was my little girl and her boyfriend and their baby and her family. And, you know, when, when we found out she was pregnant and it was like... I was, I was stunned and shocked by that. I was like continued cleaning the floor that day. I remember thinking, that's not real. That is not real. But it was real. And it seemed like the biggest dang hailstorm that had ever hit me in the face. And guess what? At the end of that has been the brightest rainbow. So it's like a lot of these things that we could just step back a few days, you know, clear our minds, free our spirit of things that we don't have to be so torn out of the frame about. Life comes and goes, you know. Why are we waiting? Why are people waiting when they want this lifestyle? You know, and I don't come to you to try to convince you to eat like me or have a low-fat, raw, vegan lifestyle, but I do know that people want that, and you watch me and listen to me, and you say you want that do it. You deserve that and you can do it, you know? What are you waiting on? Declutter your mind. That's the point of this talk. And we'll come back about some other things because I have a whole list right here of things that I could detoxify. <laughs> After I swing though, see y'all later.